the Joker. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the long, dark story mode here. We've got a story mode. I played a little bit of the survivor mode. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. All right, let's see if we can get a fire going here. We've got no matches. We need some matches trusty wooden matches all right we got wooden matches we got tinder and we got some cedar firewood or fir firewood let's get this party started so this game is called the long dark this is a story mode so far it's got three episodes to play three different episodes in the story mode i played a little bit of the survivor to get a feeling for the survival crafting elements of the game it's a game that doesn't hold your hand pretty difficult as far as that goes, and very interesting. Uh, just just the survival mode alone was very interesting. Adding in a story like we did in our last playthrough, The Green Hell, very interesting. So right now we're just getting started. You could see from the very beginning that what happens is we're a bush pilot, right? So we fly and we're in the Cana North uh, Canadian wilderness. Some kind of electromagnetic something happens, some kind of bad, you know, Leo's apocalyptic type event. And we crash, and now we're stuck somewhere. But in story mode, we're not just well, by ourselves. Here we are, old girl. There's supposedly someone else. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Well, you're going to, bud. Apparently there's someone else we're going to be looking for, something like that, so Mackenzie's part. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Well, take it, dude. Better to be, like, have too much than not enough. Okay. There's no jumping in the game. I just tried to jump and you saw what it did. Maybe a little slow to start, but trust me, it's a it's a very unique and very interesting um, survival game. I think you guys are going to really like this. So, I'll try and do a longer episode here in the beginning, as I've been doing already. Some herbal tea, fuel. It said for us just to look around the hangar, right? Explore the hangar. Three of five. Damn. That's right. Pipes froze up again. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere really. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Okay. You can take a nap. You're tired. Take a nap. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. All right. That be in here. Nuts and stuff. Those were better days. I think this is just kind of teaching you the basics here, you guys, about picking up stuff, what you can collect, how to use it, how to start a fire, how to sleep. These are important aspects of the survival. <clears throat> If you look down the bottom left, what could that be? That's temperature, sleep, water, and food, and that is the main main bugaboo in the survival game. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Maury. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. 
What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. I mean, it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. No one would take off in that kind of weather. No way, Jose. That was kind of a long intro. It's really, it's unique, because this is the first time I'm seeing Let's this see. stuff. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Okay, select extra cargo, optional. Well, I want this coat. Can I take... I can't take the coat. Distress pistol kit? Load... That's her stuff. What can I take? First aid? The doctor, so we're covered there. Water, see food. Energy bars, purification tablets. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. Load Astra's gear into the plane. Select extra cargo optional. Well, of course I'm going to select extra cargo. I want something I know. I have a hint that we're going to crash. <laughs> you know? I have a hint that we're gonna crash. I'm not gonna take a hot plate. I think we're gonna crash and I'm gonna need some stuff. So it seems like just the stuff that's on that counter is what our options are. I want this parka for Pete's sake. All right, fine. The mysteria. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. Okay, so I'm gonna put her stuff in here for sure. Just need to grab my parka and we can go. Can't, what? Food? Can't take all this stuff? I can only take one of these things. Oh, brother. Maybe I can grab your parka. 
Maybe I should have kept it on me. It's, it, like I was saying, it's so interesting to me because I haven't seen any of this. Were they married? Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. Memories. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. Kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? Doctor, what's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Pretty smooth Freelance ride doctor. right now. That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. You don't have to. Let's just not. No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's. Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. It's the Aurora Borealis. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. So, the electromagnetic oh. had something to do with the aurora? Oh, jeez. I'm not even flying and I hit trees. Alright. Twelve hours later, we're back on the ground. Now, the survival aspect of this is very interesting. It's... Astrid. I'm, I'm curious to see how it blends in with the, uh, the actual survival mode. That is definitely gonna leave a mark. Astrid! I must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. So, oh, mostly. Like mostly. Chapter 2, The Crash. Alright, first aid. Need some so, first aid. We've got uh, first aid, use, use. Okay, am I good? Use first aid to stop the blood loss. Alright, try and climb out of the ravine. I gotta get some stuff for... Oh, I'm freezing cold. All right. Collecting things right now. Damn. My health is going down freezing. bad. All right. Can I get next to this and warm up? Nope. Let me get in here and see if I can get out of this. Okay, use fire to melt snow. Start the fire. I, I'm, I'm surprised, because that stuff out there is all on fire, and I'm cold, and I have to come in here to start a fire. So, so far already, like, I'm in the come worst on, condition I've on. ever been in, even in, in survival, I've never been this bad. <laughs> so, we're not... I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Yeah, I know. So, 
I'm warming up. I gotta see what I have as far as inventory goes. I've got no food or drink. I do have this cuff, and I've got a metal shard that can act as a knife. I've got some stuff for fire. I've got no medic no health. This is the stuff I'm wearing. Better take a look at this and see how long this is gonna last. 12 minutes. We're gonna add a couple fire logs to it, get us up to four hours. Um, let's go ahead and do some water. Recycled can select. We can do melted snow. Cook. And then we should be able to pass the time. 19 minutes till boiled. Now I learned this from people on the stream. They told me about this. So let's drink this. It's good for that. Water. Cook. Pass the time. So it melts it. Then it boils it. Now we're going to take this and put it in this jug. We have this jug here. We barely have anything in there. How much time we have left? I'm just going to I'm going to build up a little bit of water here, you guys. I think it might be the best way to do it. Now, every time you do something, you are using up calories. Uh, time and calories. Water. You watch. Uh, I'll show you. So, 19 minutes. So, if I do this, you see it's it just used up. It went fast. But it's using calories up and time. So, I'm getting tired and hungry. All right. That should be enough for now. Half gallon of water. I'm going to pick this up. Keep this. Now, do I have a something to sleep on? I don't, but I have two cloth here. We can make these. We'll harvest these cloth and we'll make bandages. All right, we've got some bandages now, so that should be in our first aid section. Any more injuries? Oh my god. Dude, I'm destroyed what the deuce I wasn't ready for all this uh, I don't have any herbal teas so I'm in I'm in bad shape but I'm warming up I need to sleep I need to eat I don't have any food Ouch. damn that smarts I gotta try and find some food healed pain that make more bandages this is for this is for uh, fire starting gotta find some food Let's see if something drops out of these crates oh I'm freezing again apparently Apparently I am definitely not equipped for being out in the weather, so I'm not sure how to deal with that. I'm gonna try one more thing here. Never felt so cold in my life. Oops. Alright, I get back inside here by my fire. Oh, nice. Some good logs. Wow, I'm I'm really surprised how much... Uh... So we can throw these books on here. That's good. Another four hours. Let me just take a quick look at what we're wearing. We don't have our jacket on. We have a shirt. We have a sweater. We have no gloves. We have one pair of socks. Some jeans. We're not looking so good, you guys. Let's see if I can make anything. Alright, as far as clothes go, I can't make any clothes. Bullets, gunpowder, tinder plugs. Problem is, I'm going to starve to death. I'm going to starve to death here pretty soon. Harvest some more cloth for bandages. 
Maybe I should be keeping the cloth. I don't know. And then our condition is a sprained ankle and a sprained wrist. Let's see if we can do something about that. We'll go into health. Use on the right foot. Okay, that's healed. And we'll use another one on our hand. Okay. Sun came out. Again, I have no food. I only have water. And I'm cold. This is this is tough. This is tough, you guys. I'm afraid to go back out there again. It said find a way out though. Let's see if Yeah, it's going triple down. I gotta find find more stuff, I guess. That'll give me a little bit of few, uh, food. It's got, um, it's like a soda. It gives you. Dude, I'm freeze thinking maybe my jacket's up here. Oh my God, this is tough. Gotta keep on the lookout for things like wood. Need to find some place to escape this cold. I could probably climb that. Oh, I can? How? Oh, interesting. There's a climbing mechanic. I did not know that. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Don't fall. Rose hips. Okay. I need my jacket, dude. I'm not lasting in the cold at all. More rose hips. Climb this. Oh my god, look at the temp. It's got triple arrows down, meaning it's probably at the fastest generation or of being. What? No, 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 no. I wanted to get the. I went to get the rose hips. That just cost some serious time right there. I this climbing mechanic. I didn't know that this was even in the game in the survival mode. I never cro came across anything I that I could make climb. It. Maybe I can eat these things. I gotta get up to that plane. I gotta start a fire again, though. Man. Getting all these rose hips is worth it right now. Finally made it. Okay, is this the plane? Here's the plane. Please tell me my jacket's up here. I can eat a horse. My plane. I'm not sure which groups. of us looks worse. Okay, get Poor me out girl. of this stupid cutscene. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Is that my jacket right there? I've been looking for you. Get this, I gotta start a fire. There's gotta be some sign of her having been here. Come on, let me start a fire. 75% chance. Dude, I'm freezing to death! It's like a never-ending, um... Come on. ...fight. You know, whether it's the cold, the sleep, the food, the water, wolves, bears, moose. Well, thank goodness for that. Did I put that jacket on? I did. I got my jacket on. Well, that's a start. Maybe we should take some of this. So give us a little bit of water and a little bit of food boost. What else did we pick up? I thought we picked up like a candy bar or something, no? All right, the rose hips now. It says a fruit a wild bush can be used to make tea that helps manage pain. So we could make some rose hip tea if we wanted to. Let's add some fuel. There we go. Obviously, we're going to always want to have... Um, I'm going to make some 
Wait, do I have to prepare those rose hips first? Nope. I don't think so. Okay, cook, can, select, water. It's not giving me the rose hip one. Pick up. Alright, so we want to water, can, select. No rose hip tea? Huh. Alright, give me my can back then. You see my... You see my temperature? Let's go around and pick up some stuff. Oh my god, I'm back to freezing already! Yes. That's gonna help. I better look for signs of Astrid. Be better look! I'm gonna die! Alright. See if we did we put that stuff on? Alright, I got two pairs of socks on now. What was that other thing that I got? This guy. But I can't put it here. It's it's like a in place of the parka. Some places you can put multiple things. Alright, we're good there. Let's see if we can make anything. Clothes wise, no. Prepared. Oh, you do have to prepare them. See? I think drinking some hot tea would be good. Manage some pain, maybe? Alright, I prepared the rose hips. Now let's see if we can do it. Select. Hmm. It's not there. Maybe you have to melt the snow first. Oh, my fire went out. Did it take that long to melt that snow? Oh my god. I'm an idiot. It's too windy to start a fire. Uh, how did I screw that up so bad? I didn't... I, you, I guess you have to look and see how long it's going to take for you to do something. Energy bar. Water for purification. Water, water. Those emergency oh, Astrid's pack. Crunchy stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take all that. What's inside the hard case? There's a combo on it. Hmm. Locked. I'm not carrying that thing. case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I'm not carrying it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Look for clues. I'm looking. I'm getting cold and looking. I could eat anything right now. Can I walk up this thing? Did I put my gloves on? I did. I got gloves on. All right. Tips. Nothing? Nothing inside that thing? She definitely passed through here. Okay. And in a hurry. Sprinting can help you escape bad weather dangerous pre predators. Sprinting. Alright. So are we done in this area down my here? Hands. I feel like I'm missing stuff. You know, the game, I feel really rushed right now because you're behind the curve, right? You're behind in... Oh, jeez, I need to make another fire ready. I wonder if it matters, like, which way the wind is blowing. Oh, I just froze myself. Okay. Because that all takes time to do that stuff. Die if I don't warm up soon. I'm trying. 75% chance with that. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult. Behind the eight ball. 
I thought. Come on. Come on, baby. I need to warm up, please. I need some shelter or something to get in so I can think five it minutes. It worked. There. Okay. Now, while that's doing that, I'm not going to do these rose hips because that took a little while, too. We got four cloth. We got this tools. So let's eat one of these guys. An energy bar. And we got a new granola bar. Crunchy. We'll do that. We'll drink that can. Maybe some food in my stomach. I know if you make, like, tea, if you make tea, it counts as, like, warm, you know? If you just make the water, it doesn't seem to think that it's warm. You know, you drink it. So we have three hours. I didn't bring my dang can with me. Oh, my God. I don't have my can with me for water. Okay. I left it back down there. <laughs> you can see, like, look at my numbers down there. My hypothermia, it's going up. I'm gonna need to sleep pretty soon. Food and water are marginal at this point, but my hypothermia and my sleep are my two big concerns right now. See what else we have in here. People, places, things, actions. All right. No afflictions. Wind chill. I got a bum knee. I need some better clothes. I need food. I don't need to make any more bandages right now. Survive the night. Sleep in the cave. What cave? What cave? cave are they talking about? Are they gonna put push me to a cave? I dude I left that fire back there is probably oh, a mistake. My head feel thick. If I can find a cave oh there's bunny rabbits. Equip small stones and throw my rabbits to stun them. Okay. I can try that. Jeez, I'm freezing again. Weapons. Stone. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. What the? Is this really? This is how I gotta try and get food? What are we in the? Oh my god, I'm so freezing again. Cold. There's another thing for her. Oh my god. Sticks. Break down. Oh, this is gonna get me killed. Look at my health, you guys. I can't do that again. Oh, poor bunny. Don't break. Don't break. No! Oh! Do I have a rabbit now? Astrid, where did you go? That's a wolf. Oh, shoot. This is nightmarish, you guys. This is so hard. So difficult. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just need to like get. Th Are you serious? It didn't work. Fifty-five percent chance on this one. Come on. What? Come on. Wood matches. Newsprint. Tinder plug. This is a better start. It says here. I'm gonna die. I gotta, like, literally just sit by this fire until I warm up. Dude, I can't even start a fire. 55% chance. 75. Come on, baby. 
you I, in the survival mode you increase your skills like fire starting uh, you know crafting use with guns Come stuff on. like that there's different books Come you can on. read if you find them to also increase them in the survival mode it Five worked minutes. Two hours. I gotta stand right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the deuce? What can I do with this? Harvest. I want some meat. A lot of meat. And some hide. I'm not gonna worry about the gut right now. This is gonna take 54 minutes. So you can see how it's passing the time and I'm heating up. The main thing you gotta do is make sure that you have enough campfire. Add fuel. Okay, back. Let's see, cooking raw meat directly. I didn't. I didn't see what that actually said. Select. Cook. Select. Six minutes. Thirty-seven minutes. What? Cooking. Thirty-six minutes until ready. Four minutes until ready. What? Why? Why is that? Whatever, I'll take it, dude. Maybe that, that rock was uh, warmer right there or something. Fill up my belly with some warm rabbit. I can't believe I broke that rabbit's neck. Wow, that didn't actually give me much... much food there. Pretty... Oh, now wait a minute, that said 36 minutes. This thing said I had two hours. That doesn't make sense. Am I, am I missing something here? It's too windy to, oh, the wind put the fire out. I bet you that's what it was. All right, forget that rabbit, I'm moving on. I'd like to have that deer he's eating. I know you can scare wolves off with flares. I'm getting the heck out of here. Oh, there's a, a tower up there. like some kind of radio tower. That's what I just said. It must be closer to civilization than I thought. I need somehow to regain some series. What was that noise? Is that my stomach or a bear? I thought I heard a bear. Gotta find a way to get up there. I'm not gonna kill that rabbit because, man, that didn't do very much for me. Now, since you can't jump, you can't just walk up like that. Remember, I have to keep getting firewood, though. Okay, she was here. Can't walk up that. Those take longer to harvest. I don't have time for that. Gonna need to sleep pretty soon. Tower up this way. Now it's said to sleep in a cave though. There's a cave here. I hope this isn't like some bear's cave. Oh. The wind stopped blowing in here. Coal, nice. I like the coal. Maybe the coal can make the fire last longer, like charcoal briquettes. Um, I'm not gonna be able to sleep in here though because I don't have a sleeping mat.
Lump of coal. Didn't it say, survive the night, sleep in the cave? Oh, that's what I did already. Look for clues. All right, I gotta get up to that tower before I, before I die here. I was reading that backward. I already did that. That was the first night. Could you imagine, though, you guys, if this happened to you? Like, I mean, forget the corny ex-wife, ex-husband thing, and I still wear the ring, and I think about you all the time. But imagine, like, a plane crash, and you literally have nothing. Like, we go out, and we do this stuff, and we have our packs and all our different gear, but imagine not even being able, having the right clothes. Wait, there's somebody right there. Uh, oh. Someone's just sitting here. Frozen. Dead. What the hell? Painkillers. Great. Oh, there's a town! Maybe I can find help there. Dude, get me down there. There's no place to sleep here? Dude, there's a town down there. I'm gonna get down. I want out. I want out. Am I climbing down to the town or back where I just came from? I'm not sure. Definitely need to get indoors. Oh, there's houses. Give me a house, baby. I need to sleep and recover big time. I'm running. Look. Smoke from that chimney. Where? Oh, right there. That means someone's home. Maybe I should go there. Investigate the house. Hello? Anyone out there? Hatchet. Nuts and stuff. I love looting. You guys what know happened it. Here? I got a hatchet. Should I go straight for that house or should I go in one of these other ones? Can't go in one of these other ones. I'm going straight to the house. Maybe there's someone there. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Oh my god, blood? Leak that's the guy from this house, dude! Look at the blood! Firewood bin? There's no firewood. Do I have to get firewood? Oh my god, get me out of this storm. Holy cow, you Hello? guys! Anybody here? I just immediately don't even look around. I just start stealing all their stuff. There's a fireplace. Oh, shoot! Hello? Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit! Oh! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. What kind of gun is that? Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make Look how big that outlet is in the background. The wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. 
I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you are here, things must be worse than they thought. Okay, gun. And who are you? Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. Mother! A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Okay. Town? Where are we? Milton. A forgotten town, deep in the mountains. Milton. You're far from home. But, uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. What bad now, man? Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. Don't tell my me I have to get food for her. Fuzzy. Something come through so sharp with others. Like a dream. Why is she whispering? Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. Okay. Gun. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. Who's the bad man? You mean the storm? The bad man. The bad man came, took my things, tried to take my house. They thought they were safe because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. What bad men? The guy outside that's bled out and frozen? Who are the bad men? The men they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Wait, we already said that. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. She's a doctor. Then there is always hope. All right. Hurt? The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. Grey Mother. And it seems they did. Give me your gun. Supplies. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would've helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can. But I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, 
the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. Yeah, trust me. You should see me trying to get here. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay. Outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay, chapter three, the Grey Mother. Yeah, I'm I'm done talking to her. She's driving me bonkers, dudes. Find supplies to help keep Grey Mother alive. Map. Okay, so here's the town of Milton. We came in from up here. Here's the radio tower. Check the gas station for more supplies. Okay, and then up here we got St. Christopher's Church. All right. So we obviously got some stuff to do. New objective. Radio doesn't work. Can't steal her book. I need to rest first. I need to rest. I need to eat. The sewing primer. Everything you ever wanted to know about maintaining your clothing. Take it. Sewing kit. New objective. Repairing clothes. Okay. Take that. Thank you very much. Can sleep in the bed. Lily's trunk key. Okay. Who's Lily? Who's Lily? Is the Grey Mother's real name Lily? No, I don't need more cardboard box right now. Maybe I do. Okay, nothing. Can I take this? Nope. Another bed. All right. Well, you know what? I think this is a good place for me to to stop for this first episode. We're almost at an hour. See if I can sleep through the night without dying, hopefully. Um, very challenging. You can see the story aspect, but in between the, the objectives, we've got to survive. Uh, in the main story, I was playing on an easier mode, and I was never really that nearly that affected by the weather. Um, mostly sleep and food were the big things, but we're going to see what this thing has to offer us. If you guys enjoyed hit the like button, comment down below, and hopefully you guys will join me in the next episode. Thanks for watching.